News First starts now with First Alert Weather. And we are talking about that weather right now. It's nice out right now for the start of your afternoon, but storms are moving into West Georgia right now. You're taking a live look at our first alert radar on your left. Centennial Olympic Park, the bins looks pretty okay here, I suppose, in downtown and midtown, but that will change. Thanks for joining us at noon. I'm Rob Hughes. And I'm Joy Lim Nakrin. So you're probably going to want to get it indoors because um, there are some storms coming. Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Valdez tracking our first alert forecast looks like a very active radar. Yeah. And and we're going to see more and more of it over the next several hours and during the afternoon commute. Heavy downpours and possible severe weather in the forecast with blinding rain, frequent lightning, could see strong damaging winds, fairly large hail, and an isolated tornado not out of the question. The greatest threat for that is going to be south of I-20. So let's take you to First Alert Radar, show you what we're seeing and what we expect to see this afternoon. We are seeing some rain moving out of eastern Putnam County, a few showers, but not a whole lot in East Georgia, taking you to the Alabama border, seeing some activity moving out of Troop County into Meriwether County. We're not seeing any lightning here, but we are seeing some rain. But then you look to our west. That is where we are seeing some nasty storms in Alabama, and that is what's heading in our direction. I'm watching this cluster of storms here in northeastern Alabama as they move to the east northeast. These will eventually make their way into Floyd County, Polk County, Harrelson County, seeing a tremendous amount of lightning, some heavy down downpours with these. These will cross over the Georgia state line here within the hour. Then we'll have to watch if they maintain their strength as they make their way into the northern metro. We do have a tornado watch issued for one county in our viewing area. This is in Randolph County, Alabama till five o'clock central time, six o'clock eastern time. As of now, no watches for any parts of North Georgia. But if these storms maintain their strength, certainly could see some watches issued for our area this afternoon. So good reminder to download the First Alert Weather app. It will let you know if a watch is issued for your area. More importantly, if a warning is issued for your area for the potential of severe weather, very heavy downpours. As we head through the afternoon, we'll continue to see those storms move east by 2 o'clock, seeing those storms still along western Georgia. Then in the peak of rush hour, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, heavy downpours with blinding rain. Strongest storm still expected south of I-20, but certainly some strong storms north of that possible we'll get a break around seven o'clock, but then we'll watch for more storms this evening. This evening, the strongest storms should stay mainly south of our area. Almost all of North Georgia under a level two threat of severe weather. That means a few severe storms will be possible. Could see some heavy rain because of that a flood watch in effect for Troop Meriwether, Pike, Lamar and Upson County through tomorrow at eight o'clock. So a lot to cover. We're going to talk much more about the timing, how much rain we're expecting in your neighborhood and when this threat of severe weather will come to an end coming up.